Happy Monday, everybody. It was a quiet, quiet Sunday, wasn't it? Auto through three and four for the final time. There's the contact. He does get to him. The 11 on the inside. He gets into the wall. Do you know what? What I might do is I might, I might smash into somebody just to make me feel better. As I predicted, uh, all the social media content going through the roof yesterday. Uh, thank you guys for your support. Over 25,000 views last time I checked on the video from last night. Um, and so for today, we are just going to more analyze this. I've been waiting. You can see, what well, I don't know if you can see the bottom or over there, what time it is. It was 3.30, it was 3.30 p.m. I've been waiting all day, letting things come out. Now, this is going to be the last video I make on this. I'm not going to make a video if he gets suspended or not. It's not really, I don't care, to be honest. Um, suspension, no suspension, whatever. But we're going to more analyze what happened yesterday because yesterday in the race review, it was more, you know, a reaction. This is going to be more of analyzing because some of you guys, for some reason, still believe that some of the things that Austin Dillon did were okay or that you believe he didn't do something intentionally, which I, listen, we're going to show you SMT data, uh, courtesy of, of, I don't know if it's Bozy or Bozai, but, uh, his Twitter account has the SMT data and, uh, yeah, um, I mean, I don't need, uh, to be honest, I don't need SMT data to know what happened yesterday, but just in case you guys don't know, we're going to analyze that. So, uh, yeah, we're let's just going to go. I have the books, bookmarks ready. I've bookmarked a lot of clips here that I want to talk about. Um, and, yeah, so we're going to start here actually with Dirty Mo Media, what Jordan Bianchi had to say on Austin Dillon's win. Uh, right before we get to that, uh, let's actually just quickly, if you haven't seen it, uh, quickly watch um, what happened here. And I'm going to just mute the audio. I don't want to get copyrighted. But, yeah, uh, very quickly, if you guys haven't seen it, which I'm pretty sure you have, uh, from three car links back, uh, shout out to the number three car, uh, pulling off his, what he believed was his inner Dale Earnhardt Sr. And uh, a lot of you guys think that Dale Earnhardt Sr. was known for this. And, yeah, that just goes to show that it's been uh, 23 years since his death and uh, 30 years since he was racing. I was not obviously, like, alive i was born in 97 so i wasn't really aware of what he was doing when he was racing but uh it is very clear a lot of you guys don't know what dale earnhardt was really all about so um we'll you know discuss that later but yeah he dumps logano and then comes down the track and right rear hooks denny hamlin this is where the the likely suspension might come in we'll talk about that later as well austin dylan wins the race now uh, let's get Jordan Bianchi's thoughts on this, because uh, his thoughts, and it's right here, it's fair because of this system. This is from the teardown with Gluck what did and you think of the move there? What did you think of the move there, Jordan? And so I'll just it's let him fair talk. because this is the system. Is it right? Is it ethical? No. Is it good sportsmanship? No. It's none of those things. But this is the system. The system is win at all costs. You win to get in the playoffs. You win to in the playoffs to advance around, and you find a way to get the job done. We have seen numerous instances since this format was instituted in 2014, whether it was Harvick at Talladega, Newman and Kyle Larson at Phoenix. I, the list goes on. It doesn't. I, I forgot. I honestly even forgot about Harvick at Talladega. I forgot about that one. If you guys don't remember that one, that's the that's the incident where Harvick was blowing an engine at Talladega. Twenty. It was 2014, right? That happened in the same... I'm pretty sure it was Talladega 2014. Uh, I, I don't really remember that incident all that well. I think maybe it was later. I'm not sure. But uh, there was an incident, Harvick at Talladega, and he was going to get eliminated. And, uh, yeah, he just intentionally wrecked the field on a on a, uh, a caution, I think. And and um, they ended the race or something like that. So I completely forgot about that one. But, um, yeah, I mean, Jordan obviously a very smart person reiterates everything I say I feel like it's what you guys think um and whether you like Austin Dillon or not and that's the thing when when you know you guys hopefully know me I, it doesn't matter if it's Austin Dillon uh you know the people involved Joy Logano Austin Dillon Denny Hamlin it doesn't matter uh <laughs> two. there's two now It doesn't matter who is involved. <laughs> I think it's it doesn't be. matter how you feel. But it matters to a lot of other people. Like, if you replace Joey Logano and Denny Hamlin with Kyle Larson and, and Chase Elliott, then, you know, a lot more people are angry. And it shouldn't be like that. But fandom, you know, it is what it is. This is the system. So according to the how this system is and and how NASCAR polices this, because they, they, frankly, are they don't take away wins when the situation they let these things stand this is the system so and, and so i will say we haven't really had a situation where 
this has gone this has happened for a race win in my opinion so um i don't think they've been put in this situation uh, as a, as of recent but yeah it, what he says is exactly what i've been saying uh and what you guys have been saying and and in a weird way i'm actually quite glad this happened yesterday because i feel like i was probably yelling to a brick wall about this playoff system and i feel like now with what has just happened maybe you guys will see it a little bit more clearly it, it's I am not, you know, on the complaining meter, I honestly don't think I complain that much. I am very happy with how NASCAR is currently. If you ask 2019 Real Radman, I don't like referring to myself as Real Radman. <laughs> you ask 2019 Milad Radman, how is NASCAR? And I'll be very upset. We've gone a long way in five years. I feel like there's been a lot of positive steps. So if you think I complain a lot, I don't know. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, no, I don't. It's very simple. I am very passionate about certain things and, and the championship format, the championship system has been since 2014, my biggest gripe with NASCAR, uh, along with the car, the gen six car, but that, that I've not changed and, and I'm not going to change. And it is because it is a stupid system. If something is stupid, I like, I'm going to call it out objectively, fairly, in my opinion, it is stupid. It, it is bl blatantly stupid. And you have situations like what you saw yesterday happen because of the system. Now, for some reason, uh, you people that like to actually complain, like you guys, you guys think I complain. Really? Really? Yeah. <laughs> the people that actually like to complain was bitching about this, which is Logano, um, doing a a burnout in front of the like in front of the three team and like you could see there's family members here and stuff so obviously that you you know they he, they were uh fans were unhappy about it nascar officials were unhappy about it and, and you know what you guys could bitch about that uh, listen i'm i logano showed self-restraint to uh not get out of his car jump the white safer barrier head over to the track even with austin Dillon ho holding his baby you know, tell the baby to sit down, you know, put the baby, put someone else to take the baby, and, and Logano was about to throw hands. That's what I thought was going to happen because of how egregious it was, it was uh, happening. Um, Noah is one of the best reporters out there. He has recorded. You can see a lot of uh, stuff I want to talk about here. Time. This is Elton Sawyer, the senior VP of competition. Uh, I have refrained from mentioning his name in a lot of my videos, uh, mainly because I think anything he says is pure PR, um, and so... I, I don't really, again, care what he has to say. And this is a four-minute clip, but basically stuff that things he says here is he says uh, that, you know, this has gotten close to the line. And, and guys, there there is this imaginary line. Like I said yesterday, the line has been moving. There is no line. There is no line that has been set for 20-odd years, and if you cross it, NASCAR is going to lay the hammer down. No. The line has been moving for the last 20 years. 20 years ago, there was respect in the garage area. There was uh, unwritten rules. You know, there was give and take during racing. It was 500 mile racing, give and take. Like, I'll, you could pass me now. I'll pass you later, hopefully. A lot of respect in the garage area. Guys like Mark Martin, Rusty Wallace, Tony Stewart, Jeff Gordon Jr., Johnson, Kenseth, Biffle, Edwards. These guys had respect for each other. And... Then you introduce the chase for the cup and it gets a little bit more intense, but there was never elimination format stuff. Um, and again, I, I think you see it, you know, hard racing, but all that respect is still there. And then 2014 happens. And when 2014 happens, everything gets thrown out the goddamn window. Um, social media era, TikTok era, um, opinionated era with Twitter, everything gets thrown out the window. Now it's all completely different. The line has been moving for years. So what Elton Sawyer here is talking about when it comes to a line, yeah. um, it, it's, it's, it's a bunch of nonsense, to be honest. It, 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 is, it is NASCAR's creation of this system that has put, unfortunately, people like him in a pretty tough spot. I don't know if he has the power to uh, 
you know, I, to be honest, I don't know who's in charge of the playoff system and making those decisions. I don't know if it is him. I don't know if it is somebody else. I have absolutely no idea. But it, you know, he has to come out and face the cameras and talk for four minutes. And he has to be as politically correct as possible and not say anything that's going to be actions detrimental to, to stock car racing. So it, he can't really say much. And so they're going to review it. And again, they're not going to take his win away, most likely. And we'll talk about that at the end of this video, what might happen to Austin Dillon. But it, it is what it is. This is Richard Childress in the in the garage area. And he basically was lying, uh, essentially. Let's see if we can get the audio here. I, I never heard it on our radio unless somebody was making it up. I didn't hear it. Did you? No, I, I haven't Not on our number one channel, number two channel. No one said that. And if you believe in everything you hear on the Internet, I'm not Santa Claus if it ever comes up. Okay, so... Two seconds later, oh, here no, you go. Coming down, 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 I didn't hear it. Did you? No, I, I haven't heard it. Not on our number one channel, number two channel. Okay, no no one heard it. No, no, no. Again, three seconds later. Guys, let's let's just listen. Coming down, 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 Okay, uh, hold on, just one more time, guys. Let me make sure my ears are clean. Okay, uh, hold on. Let me just. Coming down, 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 down,
okay? I feel like because Logano and Hamlin, especially Denny Hamlin, who has a lot of haters, and I don't agree with that, you know, because I feel like what Denny Hamlin has been saying, mainly, you know, yes, he does everything he says is exactly what I say. I feel like we agree on, on, on the system and the playoffs and a lot of stuff. And yeah, Hamlin's ego is a little bit up there. Yeah, you know, a lot of people think my ego is up there as well. But eliminate who's involved or your feelings for these people. Just view it as a racing incident, and it's not a racing incident because this is not racing, as we titled it yesterday in the video. Um, we already showed this clip, obviously. Uh, you can read my little tweet about it. I was obviously angry. Um, so Junior. this is uh, from uh, YouTube Auto Community. This is a clip from, I'm guessing this is a... I want to say 2018 Martinsville. I'm not uh, getting my years mixed up. You know, 2017, 2018, 2019, uh, all those years mixed up. 20, it might even be 2020 or 2021. I don't even know. But um, this is uh, from Martinsville, the playoff race, and this is the uh, race, obviously, Come today. Um, we're not going to show Thanks this entire junior. thing because I don't want to get uh, copyrighted, but let's just skip ahead. So they're, they're battling, right? Battling, battling, battling. White flag lap. Truex. Truex, one of the cleanest race car drivers, by the way, when it comes to battling for a win. Martin Truex Jr. is a lot like Mark Martin when it comes to actually battling for a win. Uh, they will race you clean. So uh, shout out Martin Truex Jr., even though he is old and grumpy now and does, does complain a lot. But he does race people clean when it comes to racing for the win. So obviously... They're battling uh, a clean pass by Truex, and you have to take into account this is when a lot of people hated Logano for how he was racing, you know, the 2015 incidents and all that stuff, and so Logano still, and the fan base didn't have a lot of respect. They come out of turn two, and this is the bump and run. The 2017 champion. That's a bump and run. See, that is a bump and run in the Gen 6 car. And then they're coming off no, side by side. Truex is just blatantly turning hard left, trying to beat him to the line. The and sideways. yeah, Logano wins the race. And now Truex was upset about that. Um, I think that this was the one there. It's like he might have won the race, but he hasn't won the war or something like that. I think that was this race. But uh, that's a clean bump and run. That is NASCAR racing. And even then, people were complaining and bitching about Joey Logano's move. Uh, if you take that and also from yesterday's video, look at the examples we put with Jeff Gordon going against the Rusty Wallace. That's a bump and run. Now, the fact is you can't really do this in the next gen car. You have to hit them a lot harder than what Logano even hit Truex here because the next gen car is so much more tankier. Um, so if Austin Dillon wants to do that same exact move, look at how close Logano is coming into three he is one car even there that's that's pretty you know that's i would say similar to what jeff gordon was uh to jimmy johnson in 2007 martinsville um where you do have to drive it in pretty deep but look that gap is half a car length probably right so half a car length and he's able to get in there doesn't dump him now take that and compare it to this and look how much further back guys look at that that is at least double the space that's at least double the space at a racetrack where you use less brake. You're using less brake heading into Richmond than you are uh, heading into Martinsville. And you have to remember that your stopping point is later in this car because the brakes are stronger in this car. So you are not braking as early as you do at Martinsville. You're braking later, even later here at Richmond. Braking point is probably like right about there. And so they drive it in. Look at how far back Austin Dillon is. Tyler Reddick said on, on his post race that Dylan, you know, he drove it in deep. He didn't realize, he realized he wasn't going to get there. So what Reddick is saying is that he actually throttled it up. He actually throttled it up here to get to the back bumper of Logano. And he just drives right through him in the right rear with as much pace as he can to wreck him. That's what he does. Denny Hamlin comes through. And then we'll talk about this uh, when we get to the s &T data. See the okay. white flag. Uh, so then let's let's talk about Austin Dillon. Uh, so obviously I have been kind of easy on him because, I, 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 again, he has yes people in his corner. I think, you know, he knows what he did was wrong, but he didn't have a choice. Technically, you have a choice, but like he didn't have a choice because he had a win to make the playoffs. So this, this he, I knew I had to do everything I could. Let's listen to what uh, he has well, to say. I went to fifth gear, just held on to it, um, touched him. I feel like in the right rear and it got him up the track. I Touched him in the right rear. Again, he's trying to be PR correct because he doesn't want to just... You can't outright say you dumped the guy, so he's just trying to find a way to, 
you know, not make excuses, but just sugarcoat around it. Downshifted, come back left, and I was in the gas. And when I got in the gas, the 11 came right across. And when he came across, it was pretty much over at that point because I was already in the wood. If he actually believes that, and by the way, he's like, it, you know, how do you think they're going to race you? He, he knows. I mean, it's, it is what it is. Yeah, hey, it is what it is. He, he knows it's it, it's going to come back and haunt him. Um, this is Denny Hamlin from today. Self-explanatory. Uh, go check out his pod. I don't know if that's out yet, um, but yeah, I guess that's going to be one interesting to listen to. Now, this is the main one. Bozy uh, with his SMT data. Shout out to him. Um, so let's pull this up. So uh, I would recommend actually probably going on Twitter if you want to read this entire thread. It's it's pretty well uh, self-explanatory. But if you haven't seen this, I'll just try to explain it real quickly. So just real quickly, um, the throttle input, anything that is... Um, up like you know full level your full throttle brakes anything that's higher using more brakes steering anything that is higher in the steering smt if it's higher like that blue line that means you're going to the left if it's lower that means you're going to the right okay if it's in the middle that means you're you're stationary um so that's all the smt data there uh and so let's go to um so the main reason i want to use this smt data is, to, is the denny hamlin situation because there's some reason for you for you guys some of you guys not a lot the majority of people we know what happened I don't even need to look at this genuinely. I don't even need to look at it to know what happened on the racetrack. This is just proof. This is like genuine proof because you can't go against SMT data. So uh, I'm going to just make myself invisible here so you guys could see it real quick because this is very important. At the moment that, uh, and he explains it, now that we know the base of what we're looking at, let's move forward example what happened to Dylan and Hamlin. After Lagana has been sent to the wall, we can see Hamlin on the inside and Dylan continuing on the top for a brief moment. Uh, we then see Hamlin appearing to stay low, likely in an attempt to avoid the contact. So uh, some people, for some reason, you guys think that Denny Hamlin <laughs> was moving up the racetrack. You can see this is the normal racing line. You could even see Tyler Reddick. You could see Bubba Wallace. They are in the normal racing line. Denny Hamlin is even lower. He is even lower. He is understanding and knowing that a side draft most likely is coming from Austin Dillon on the high side. So he is even lower on the racetrack. He is not even on the normal racing line. He's trying to stay further to the inside to avoid getting side drafted or contact with Austin Dillon. And now you will see this steering data. So the steering data shows right here. If you can see my mouse, this moment right there, that is the initial contact point with Denny Hamlin right here. You see this little curve up right there. This blue line is Austin Dillon's uh, uh, steering map. A tracker and then when it dips all the way down that is after the contact with Denny Hamlin so this dip all the way down he's turning left 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 and then all you know he, he gets uh he, he goes all the way to the right so the data shows right there the data shows that you know Austin Dillon was turning left and we, again you don't got to look at the data to know that. Your eyes can tell you that it, it is there. But what this does prove is that for some reason, for you guys that think Denny Hamlin came up the racetrack, Denny Hamlin did not come up the racetrack. There is there is no um, there is no indication here of Denny Hamlin coming up the racetrack. He is taking the normal racing line. There's a ghost car from the previous lap, by the way, showing you the normal racing line. And you can see Denny Hamlin is below the normal racing line at all times. Well, Austin Dillon, who has all of this racetrack, by the way, I know you're not supposed to be up here, but you have all this racetrack that you could use, and Austin Dillon knows that he has to do what he has to do. And there's a lot of clips. This is Denny Hamlin's crew chief, Chris Gabehart. There's obviously the crew chief, uh, Joy Logano's crew chief as well. They talk about this. If you guys know anything about racing, we all know this was not a racing incident. Um, the proof is right here. I, I feel like I've shown it to you guys. We don't even really have to watch the clip again of, of the uh, of the incident, to be honest. Like, it, it is it is as clear as day, you know, what was happening here. There is no, there's no debate. There's no controversy. There's no nothing. This is not racing. This is what NASCAR has created, putting a driver in this situation who is 32nd in points, and they do this nonsense because they have to make the playoffs, should be called Chase with the Cup, they have to make the playoffs, and this is what happens. Now, 
my opinion, um, what is going to happen either tomorrow or Wednesday, guys, uh, it's very simple in my opinion. Uh, they don't take race wins away. Um, the SMT data clearly shows that he right rear hooked Denny Hamlin uh, for the wall. Again, you don't need the SMT data to know that. We all, uh, you should know that. If you, again, know anything about racing, you don't need to even rely on the SMT data. You can see it with your own eyes and understand what happened. Uh, you know, so... I, you don't need to see that. But that's the proof if you want it. You have the proof of the spotter ta saying wreck him, wreck him, coming out of turn uh, four and then being very proud about it. That entire RCR team is a bunch of crap, honestly. It's, it's just a bunch of crap. They're all, they're all bitches. Literally, that entire three team are bitches because they actually like and encourage what happened there. What should happen... Uh, what should happen is Austin Dillon should keep his win but lose the playoff berth because... The quicker we can get rid of winning you're in, if it takes penalizing a guy, it should happen. Uh, he should lose his playoff berth, in my opinion. Uh, and because he right rear hooked someone intentionally, disregard the playoffs, disregard, uh, you know, anything like that. The precedent has been set. So a right rear hook that is intentional uh, and you send another car to the outside wall, that's a one race suspension. So that is not even regarding the playoffs. He should be suspended for one race for that alone. There's precedent on it. And then because this is what, you know, what he did, he should get, he should be, uh, the playoff berth should be taken away from him. So you get to keep the race win. You get to keep the trophy, whatever, yada, yada, yada. But actually making the playoffs, you should be eliminated. And at the end of the day, what I hope this does, uh, whether it be next year or the year after that, is NASCAR finally comes to their goddamn senses and gets rid of when you're in. And maybe one day in the next five years, we can get rid of this stupid championship race. I'm not going to complain about that anymore because I'm so sick and tired of it. You guys already know that it is stupid and we don't got to talk about it anymore. That's the whole situation from the nonsense that happened at Richmond. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Take care of yourselves. You knew the channel. Uh, welcome. Make sure you guys subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. It's coming already. Comment down below with your thoughts. Uh, and yeah, that is the last. We're going to talk about this. And off we go to wherever the hell they're racing next week. And I'll bring you guys another video tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Peace out.